Understanding the Fourth Estate, a guide to its meaning and significance. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, the Fourth Estate. This term has a rich history and plays a crucial role in understanding modern society and media. Whether you're an English learner or just curious about language, this video will help you grasp the essence of this important phrase. So, let's get started. The fourth estate refers to the press and news media, both in explicit capacity of advocacy and implicit ability to frame political issues. The term originated in the 19th century, during a time when the British Parliament had three known estates or divisions, the Lord's Spiritual, Clergy, the Lord's Temporal, Nobility, and the Commons, General Populace. The press emerged as an influential fourth segment, playing a unique role in shaping public opinion and holding power to account. The fourth estate is seen as a critical watchdog in democratic societies. It has the power to inform the public, critique government policies, and expose corruption. This role is essential for a healthy democracy, as it ensures transparency and accountability. The media serves as a bridge between the government and the public, highlighting issues that may otherwise go unnoticed. In today's digital age, the fourth estate has evolved. It not only includes traditional newspapers and broadcasters but also digital news platforms, social media, and citizen journalists. This evolution has both expanded and complicated its role. On one hand, it has democratized information dissemination, but on the other, it has raised concerns over misinformation and media bias. The fourth estate is more than just a phrase. It's a pillar of democratic society, ensuring that information is freely and fairly disseminated. As English language learners and global citizens, understanding this term helps us appreciate the crucial role media plays in our world. We hope this video has been insightful and informative. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more interesting lessons in English language and culture.